this is going to sound very familiar to what happened in the Hudson a couple of years back. Hero pilot lands plane, not on a river, but this time it's in a cornfield near Moscow after the destructive bird strike is by Tyler Durden on Zero Hedge. After takeoff, it was struck by birds. They were ingested in the uh, in their uh, engines, just like what happened with the Airways uh, U.S. Airways Flight 1549. After their takeoff from LaGuardia, they struck a flock of Canadian geese, and they lost power, engine power, and they had to, uh, without power, ditch their plane into the Hudson River. They couldn't make it anywhere else. So this is familiar. This is the same thing happening here. The Russian version of The Miracle on the Hudson. Maybe Hollywood could make a movie about this as well, with Steve Nugent producing, of course. Now in a harrowing incident that nearly resulted in dozens of deaths, a narrow-body jet flown by Russia's Ural Airlines landed with its wheels up in the Russian countryside not far from Moscow, wheels up. So it glided in, sort of uh, belly, bellied into the cornfield. Not far from Moscow, after suffering a bird strike, the plane had taken off from Moscow's Zhukovsky airport only shortly before. Those who saw the movie Sully, who are simply old enough uh, or not old enough to remember what happened in the incident, will remember that bird strikes were what took out the engines on U.S. Airways Flight 1549, which then lost thrust and was emergency landed by hero pilot Chelsea Sully Sullenberger in the middle of the Hudson River, January 15, 2009. A decade later, Hollywood made, made a movie on that, with, uh, uh, which was produced by Mnuchin, who produced films before joining the Trump administration. During Thursday's accident, the Airbus A321, bound for Simferopol, Crimea, was unexpectedly struck by numerous seagulls or crows shortly after departing from Moscow's Zhukovsky airport. With no time to make it back or dump the fuel, it was fully loaded with fuel and it had over 200 passengers. The jet, which was heavily loaded, made the belly landing in a cornfield about one kilometer from the runway. Almost miraculously, nobody on board died, although 74 of the 226 passenger uh, reported injuries. Stunning footage from inside the cabin later surfaced online, according to RT. So the media footage also showed the aftermath of the crash. You have various uh, embedded videos here. You can watch the media footage of the crash. The people later described the traumatic experience they went through. The engine clamped several times. They, it collapsed several times. They tried to reactivate it, but we're, we started going down. One passenger said, now I believe in God for sure. This is my second birthday. Another woman can be heard saying in a video taken by the survivors. And today was also, it's all, also August 15th. It's the Dormition of the Holy Mother of God, Jesus Christ. So it's a very big uh, feast day for Christians all over the world. Now the airplane praised the pilot's skill and heroism in successfully landing the plane. He even knew enough to switch off the malfunctioning engines just before impact to avoid the possibility of fire on board. The crew received praise for executing a well-organized evacuation. It's quite rare. It happens maybe once in every 50 years. Ural Airlines CEO Sergei Skuratov said the scale of the concerning the scale of the bird strike. Russia's Rosa Vyatsia State Aviation Agency Chief Alexander Neredko said the crew made the only right decisions and that the captain, 41-year-old Damir Yusupov, is a highly experienced pilot who has logged over 3,000 flight hours. This is according to the Washington Post. One aviation expert said the landing was quite a feat. It was a feat to keep the plane from stalling, quickly find a place to land. This is what Viktor Zapolovsky, former test pilot, said in televised remarks. Yusopov, the son of a helicopter pilot, by the way, worked as a lawyer before he changed course and joined the flight school when he was 32 years old. He's a father of four. He's flown with the Ural Airlines since his graduation in 2013 
and became the captain last year. So yes, this was a miracle.